お招きしました、えー、グロッシー事務局長はあ先日7月4日もですねあのこの日本記者会に、えー、お越しいただいて、えーえー、処理水に関するですね、えー、包括報告書についてご説明いただきました、えー、非常にあのお忙しい、えー、日本での滞在、えー、期間に、えー、2度もですね、えー、このナショナルプレスクラブ、えー、国際あすみませんあの日本記者クラブにですね、えー、お越しいただいたことを大変あの感謝したいというふうに、えー、思います、えー、本日はですね、えー、このおえー、今回の法律の成果やです、ね、あるいは最近の IAEA の活動、一般についてお話をしていただけるということであります。会見は英語と日本語の同時通訳です。グロスさんに25分ほどお話しいただいた後会場オンラインからの質問にお答えいただきますと。質問は英語か日本語でお願いします、えー、申し遅れましたが司会は日本記者クラブ機会組員で共同通信の杉田博樹が担当いたします、えー、通訳は、えー、サイマルインターナショナルの池田香織さんそれから吉国由里さんにお勤めいただきました、えー、それでは黒瀬さんどうぞよろしくお願いいたします Floor is yours Thank you very much Thank you for those words of introduction Uh, it is a pleasure to be here with you uh, again. Um, I was here uh, um, early, earlier in, in the week, uh, just after I had uh, um, handed over the comprehensive report by the uh, IEA on the um, plan of the, uh, of, to discharge the treated water. Um, from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. And ever since, uh, I have been uh, continuing uh, my uh, efforts uh, in this regard, um, including and in particular by uh, visiting uh, Fukushima, um, where a number of important things uh, happened. The first, I would say, uh, was for me. The opportunity uh, to meet uh, with 11 mayors of the region, of the prefecture there, near the plant, the Chamber of Commerce, the Fishermen's Association, uh, and other uh, uh, local um, actors and uh, people from the, from the area. I, I felt That my direct contact、uh, with them was、uh, indispensable, was something I was keen on, on, on doing、uh, in order to do、uh, what I'm doing with, with you here, but、uh, of course, with the、uh, added, I would say, ingredient of、uh, this being in contact with the people who are at the first lines of、uh, the impact of whatever we do there. What, has, what happened in March 2011、uh, th there and,、uh, and the subsequent actions that have been taken uh, by, uh, uh, by TEPCO, by the Japanese government, and from my perspective, the international community and the IEA.、Uh, and as you can imagine, there were lots of questions. I think the local press also covered that, so I will not、uh, repeat them again, but if you have any. Um, additional angle or point that you would like me to, to amplify or to clarify, I would be very glad、uh, to do that. And then、uh, I had、uh, the opportunity to, to visit the plant、uh, again, look at some of the latest、um, uh, infrastructure uh, developments uh, there since my last visit、uh, last year. And what has been done, some of the、um, construction work that was done, some of the、uh, work, and in particular, you may have seen, I, I、uh, requested to go out on a boat to the discharge, to the planned discharge uh, point uh, to see、uh, how this is going to, to work、uh, in, in, in reality,、uh, which was for me very important.、Um, uh, And I also had uh, the uh, opportunity and was very happy about that because it is part of my、uh, commitment 
to stay and to continue the review, permanent review of what is happening at Fukushima. Um, the opening of a, of a permanent office by the, uh, from the IEA uh, at the plant um, so that uh, our teams uh, can have their uh, own infrastructure facilities there to conduct uh, the work that they are supposed to be conducting there. As you know, as I was saying uh, here and uh, elsewhere, this is going to be a long-term effort, long-term commitment, which will continue and be completed uh, long before I uh, am not no longer around, 30 years, 40 years, maybe. So this requires uh, a number of uh, preparatory measures uh, which we are taking now. So our uh, successors can have a good, solid basis to do their job uh, correctly. Uh, now uh, I am starting to wrap up my visit to Japan, but uh, not in the least my efforts uh, with regards to this um, important uh, activity. As you may know, I am heading uh, this evening to uh, Seoul, to the Republic of Korea, where there are also important uh, uh, questions being raised about uh, what we have been doing. And I will be meeting with high officials of the government and also with your colleagues, I suppose, uh, posted there. Uh, and once I complete this important part of my mission, I will continue, uh, but this time moving on to the Pacific Islands, where, uh, again, from a very specific perspective of these uh, small island nations, there is um, a concern about uh, the, this whole uh, plan, what it means, what will be the impact for them and their local economies, uh, and their population, and their uh, ways of uh, means of uh, living, which is uh, fisheries and the, uh, the ocean, which is their life. Uh, so uh, I um, um, was and I'm convinced that uh, as I'm doing here and, and in other places, that my responsibility as head of the IEA is to, to uh, show up, to uh, have a direct conversation with all those involved, and to try to answer in the best, most honest possible way the questions that may, may arise. So uh, it's a very intensive uh, um, uh, schedule but I think uh, it is commensurate to the responsibility I have and to the importance of the work ahead. So thank you for this opportunity to be here again, to talk to the, to the press accredited here, and I am uh, happy to take uh, your questions from this point on. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. はい、えーえー、ご質問求証ありがとうございました。さあそれではあ質疑に移りたいと思います。えーそうですね、えー、質問はあどうぞ、先ほど申し上げたとおり、英語か日本語でお願いしますと、えー、会場で質問のある方は拒否されてください、えー、私が指名いたしますので、お近くのマイクを使って、えー、お名前と所属をおっしゃって、えー、質問してください、それからオンラインでもです、ね、今日はたくさんの方が参加されていますので、直接質問されしたい方はあ、ズームの画面の下の方にある手のマークのボタンを押してください。私が指名しますので、ミュートを解除してご質問ください。テキストで質問は、ズーム画面の下下方の Q&A にお名前と所属を添えて、質問を書き込んで送ってください。私が代読いたします。さあ、それでは会場からまず質問をいってみましょう,ょうか。えー、じゃあ、あの、えー、じゃあ、そ,そこの一,あのその一番初め、前列の一番、えそうですね、その方ですね。お願いします。読売新聞社の服部と申します。あの事務局長が福島県に行かれて、さまざまな方と意見交換されたというふうに先ほどお話しいただいたんですけれども、でこれから日本政府と東電はあの、地元の理解を得て、放出に向かっていかなければいけないという状況です、それで地元の方々の理解を得るために、どうしたらいいのかということで、もしアドバイスのようなものがあれば教えてください。Thank you very much. Um, I think, um... 
the way to obtain the understanding of the local population is to explain, uh, to be honest, to address every, 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 every question, um, to be available. Um, this is what I'm, I'm trying to do. Uh, I believe that uh, the work we have carried out so far is solid work, serious work, uh, but of course, from their own perspective, they are on the receiving line and they may see things differently. So um, my effort is to try to make this scientific and highly um, technical work to put this into terms that everybody can relate to, that everybody can understand in terms of the consequences, in terms of the real impact so they can uh, at least understand. I think your, the word you, you chose is, is correct. Uh, it's important to get the understanding. Um, we are not there necessarily to get the applause, the approval, or praise. We know this is a very difficult thing for everybody, but uh, we need to be understood. And this is my, uh, my view of where we are. わかりました。ありがとうございます。はい、えじゃあ隣の方。朝日新聞の福地と申します。あの先ほどのお話にあの事務局長の発言に関連して伺いたいんですけれども、その処理水の放出が終わるのが30年後なのか40年後なのか、私がもういない時かもしれないという話だったんですが。福島でお話が出たときにあの IAEA は最後の一滴が出るまでそこに居続けるという話がありましたグロッシー事務局長が今考える放出が終わる時期というのはどれぐらい先だとお考えですかそれともやはりわからないものでしょうか、uh, Well, yes, as I said, I, I personally won't be around That's、uh, nature, biology But、uh, the institution will The IEA will be there,、um, and、uh, the agreements that we have、uh, with, the, with TEPCO and with the government of Japan are permanent in the sense that, as I said the other day, until the last drop, and perhaps even beyond, who knows, in terms of evaluating, assessing,、uh, the IEA、uh, will, will be there. In terms of the process itself, as you know, this is not a decision from the IEEA. Now, I guess、uh, the government,、uh, once they have my assessment, will make up its mind and may decide、uh, to take the necessary decisions and start or whatever they, they may wish to do. So, in that regard,、um, the ball is no longer on my side. So, they need to now move with the next、uh, steps, and the IEA will be ready to, to do its part of the job. Thank you. One more q u e あの先日発表されたレポートの中で,です、ねあの、最後の方九90ページ目あたりですけど、あのえー、インボルメント・オブ・インタレスティ・パーティーズということであの、利害関係者の関与という章があってです、ね、その中であの、放出期間の全期間にわたってあの地域、それから国内、国外の利害関係者の皆さんの、まあ、意見にアドレスを、えー、アドレスダビューという形であの、まあ、彼らの,あの意見に対応していく必要があるというような言及があるんですけれどもここというのは放出が始まったときに仮に、えー、風評被害が起これば一旦放出を止めるとかそういった具体的な放出のことを指しているのかそれともえー、意見を聞く場を設けながらそういった説明を、えー、尽くしていくということなのかここの辺りの具体的な、えー、内容はどういうものをイメージされているんでしょうか。Thank you very much.、Um, well,、uh, some things need to be clear.、Uh, I don't have the authority or the IEA does not have the authority to stop or to start anything. This is a sovereign decision by Japan and by the operator when they start, when they stop. What we do is we provide a technical impartial review. If at any point in the process 
we detect a problem or something which is outside the parameters. What are my basic parameters? Is the conformity with the internationally agreed safety standards. So it's very clear. It's not my opinion or my perception, which is highly subjective, or the perception and the opinions of others, which is also subjective. What we are be going to be looking at is that whatever is being discharged is within certain parameters and that there is no harm to the environment. If we see a problem, a deviation, we will immediately uh, uh, raise the alarm, if I can say, or talk to, to the government, talk to, to TEPCO, and it will be for them to take the necessary decisions and perhaps to stop or do whatever uh, may be needed. But this is going to be an ongoing process. Mm. Uh, we have uh, this huge amount of water that needs to be treated. We need to check for every batch uh, of uh, water to be discharged that it is correctly uh, cleansed of all the radionuclides. And then we will be spot checking hmm, from time to time to make sure that this is what, what is happening. I hope it's clear. Thank you. Thanks for this press conference. My name is Karine Nishimura. I'm French uh, correspondent uh, for uh, Radio France in Japan. I have uh, two questions. A first, very short question. How many staff will you have in the new office you set up in Fukushima uh, plant? And second question, are you aware that the strong re relationship that IAEA has with Japanese government can also undermine the credibility of IEAA because part of the Japanese people does not trust the government on this matter. Merci, Madame. So, uh, regarding the, the staff, this will be variable and it will depend on the specific tasks. Uh, if you talk on a permanent uh, basis, there might be just a few. But when at certain moments where we have to uh, do some sampling or there is a major activity taking place, then we will increase accordingly. It will always be a function, it will always be a function of the task that needs to be performed. But uh, you can be sure that um, there it will be enough people. And, and let me also mention that uh, we do have dozens of people working on Fukushima in Vienna. Um, Fukushima Daiichi and the place is indispensable, and this was what was lacking. So we needed to have that, but we, are, we have a, a huge team working over there. Regarding the relationship, it's a very interesting question, because frankly, I have a very intense relationship with every member state with China, for example, with the Republic of Korea, for example, I have a very strong relationship because these are countries that have lots of nuclear activity. So we are, I was just in, a, in an official visit to China, which was excellent, which was an official visit. I was visiting nuclear power plants, the companies, um, health, um, uh, nuclear medicine institutions. So uh, the IEA is, you know, very close to its 176 members. So I don't have a concern in, in, in that regard. And the issue of um, credibility, uh, I think, uh, is on the contrary, I believe that uh, the fact that the IEA uh, is uh, involved in the way it is involved adds to the credibility uh, of the whole operation. Let's not forget that Japan could have done this on its own. 
had it decided to do so. And this is, I was evoking, remembering this uh, in one of my several interviews I gave to some of your colleagues when I was um, evoking how I, we first came up with this idea of being involved in, in, the, in the process. Uh, nuclear safety is a national decision here in Argentina, in the United States, in Canada. And the IEA is involved from a, from a uh, normative uh, perspective. In this case, it was their voluntary decision. I told them, if you do this, allowing the IEA to review, to monitor, to be present all the time, then uh, there will be an element of credibility, which might not be the case had you decided to do it uh, on your own. So I hope, j'espère que ça sera clair comme ça. Hello, Kiyoshi Ando of Nikkei newspaper. Um, during your last press conference here, you talked about the authority of IAEA. Mm -hmm. IAEA is an authoritative organization. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me what is your definition of that authority? And uh, what do you think about the fact that this authority is maybe used in Japan more politically than you would have expected? Mm -hmm. The, thank you very much. It's a relevant, very relevant issue. The authority of the IEA is not defined by myself or by my opinion uh, or by the quality of the staff it has. It comes from the fact that it's the sole international institution which 176 member states have agreed, it has a statute which has been agreed by all these countries that determines our function. So there is no other international authority. That doesn't make us better than others, but this is the international organization. So there is no other authoritative, in this sense, there is no other authoritative source of activity in the nuclear world. There are many people uh, who have opinions or groups that may have opinions, but the institution that we, and I use the collective we here, gave ourselves uh, in 1957 is the IAEA. So there is no other uh, authority in the world for, for, for nuclear activities. So it's in this sense that I say this is the authoritative um, source uh, and uh, activity, because we have a mandate that has been given by everybody, by all the countries. Uh, the political usage of uh, what we do, that, if you allow me, is on the eye of the beholder. Is on the eye of the beholder. You may think that this is used by Japan. Others may think it is used by others. Uh, you know, it happens to me m many, many times not perhaps regarding this particular issue, but let's think of countries, I will not name countries for the sake of uh, respect, where there are proliferation problems. You can imagine one or two countries in the Middle East or where uh, sometimes where I come with a report that says that there is a problem in this country, the countries that are favorable to that country say, oh no, you are politicizing everything. This is not technical. You are not acting professionally. And the others are saying, well, this is fantastic. You are acting exactly in the way you should. So at the IEA, uh, because of the unique uh, authorities that we have, uh, we are used to this. We accept it as part of the reality that, 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 that we have. Of course, it is up to us to act with integrity and to avoid any political influence or manipulation. I hope my answer satisfies your question. Right. Hi, Ejah, so the other 
SMG 上海東方テレビ東京支局の記者です、えー、現在、グローシー局長はアルプス処理水の海洋放出可能な根拠となる、えー、報告書を提出したことにより世界中の注目の、えー、的となっていらっしゃいますただ、局長の任期を考慮した際、えー、仮に半年後1年後に海洋危機が起きた場合、公認の方がこの報告書を認めないのではないかとの懸念の声が上がっています、えー、何か問題が発生した際、責任という言葉がついて回るかと思いますが、局長自身は来期,来期も、えー、続投することで、えー、ご自身の判断が正しかったと、えー、証明するといったお考えはありますでしょうか。以上です。Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, well, uh, I, I want to tell you that I have just been reappointed for a second term. So I will be there for at least four more years. Not for 40 years. In 40 years, I suppose I will be in a different dimension, maybe,、uh, but not as, <laughs> as DG of the IA. But for a second term, yes, I, will, I have been re elected.、Um, so I will be staying on. But apart from that, Apart from that,、um, once an agreement is entered into between a member state and the agency, this agreement is、uh, respected. So, a successor,、um, my successor, which will come, he or she will come one day, and this、uh, operation will be continuing. Just as I inherited as Director General, Uh, tasks that had been agreed by my predecessor, the illustrious、uh, DG Yuki Amano, who started certain things and I, I continued. So it's the continuity of the institution that, that matters. This is not a, I'm not a king, this is not a personal decision. It's a, a request by the government of Japan to the IEEA, and in accordance with the statute. Of the IEA, I have started this activity. So there will be a continuity, if this is the,、uh, the, the doubt that you have. There will be a continuity of the work until it ends. Yes. And in fact, it was my request to TEPCO because TEPCO is the operator there.、Uh, so I requested them to, to have a permanent、uh, presence, and they graciously agreed、uh, to that at no, at no cost. So I have a place there where I can work,、mm -hmm. and there is no running cost. I pay the salaries of my staff. The salaries of my staff i s paid like my own by the assessed contribution of all the countries. And、uh, they go there and they perform their functions、uh, there. So there is no uh, uh, issue uh, with regards to who pays for that. あの CIMG のリーと申します、えー、やっぱり海への放出についてですね、まあ、あのやっぱりあの皆さんですねあの、根強い反対の声が聞こえますけれども、まあ、いくら安全だ、安全と言ってもですね、やっぱりあの日本の国内でもですね、あの巡,業巡業者だけじゃなくてあの皆さんもですね、そういう反対の声が大きいのはあのあの現実ですけど、まあ、これについて、えー、IE としてはあのどう考えますかね。I understand this. I respect this. I find this logical. I think it's logical that people、uh, that do not,、uh, are not experts in these matters they see all these tanks full of water 
uh, they learn that these uh, tanks are, the water there has some elements there that could be bad, and they learn that this water is going to go to the ocean. So it's entirely logical, entirely logical that there are concerns. Uh, our duty is, first of all, to uh, put in place measures to avoid the harm, number one. And number two, explain. This is what I'm doing there. This is why I go there and I meet with the people and I explain. I think that uh, some people may never, never accept this or may always harbor suspicion, skepticism. This is logical, it's human nature. The important thing is that we do the right thing. If, if, the, if we do the right thing, apart from the perceptions, we will not be harming the environment. And this is, at the end of the day, what, what matters. I hope there will be understanding. It might take some time, maybe in a, in a few years, where people start to see that all the results, um, like when you go and have an X-ray or a blood test, when you see that the results are correct and there is no lie, nobody's lying to you, then maybe um, uh, trust will be reconstructed. I, uh, I am one of those who believe that uh, you know, uh, trust can be destroyed in a second, but to build it up, it takes a long, long time. So we have the necessary patience. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Our main concern about the, uh, this issue is uh, about the material called tritium yes. uh, remain in the processed water. Yes. So as far as looking into the IAEA report, yes. including Annex 5, yes. um, there is a description about, uh, is, about the tritium is only about the positive aspect of the material. And um, I, I realize that the, the limitation is 22 terabequerels per mm -hmm. year or half-life half is 12 years, but uh, there are no description about the negative impact of human body mm -hmm. uh, in this report. I don't think it's fair. So could you describe about the negative impact of this material called tritium? Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. It's a very uh, relevant issue. Um, uh, very good. Um, one important element that needs to be uh, said. Tritium is everywhere. Here, there is tritium. Hmm? Uh, so I think we need to, and perhaps we didn't do it in as perfect way as I would have liked, but we need to demystify certain things. So radiation is everywhere, tritium is, uh, is everywhere. The issue is the amounts. This is why the International Commission of Radiological Protection or the United Nations Scientific Commission on the Effects of Atomic Radiation or the IEA. There are several, the WHO, the FAO, when it comes to the Codex Alimentarius. Many, there's a body of uh, literature and norms that refer to the acceptable amounts of certain chemicals in the, in the human body. Uh, Tritium is a form of hydrogen which exists everywhere. In the case of uh, Fukushima, in all these tanks, in this more than, largely more than million tons of uh, water, there is uh, approximately 16 grams of tritium, one six, 16 grams of tritium dispersed in all of this water, right. So the approach that was uh, taken was to uh, dilute it to a level which would be even lower by many, many layers 
lower than the lowest uh, um, parameter that exists. So the approach has been uh, hyper-conservative, uh, if, um, if, you, if you wish. Uh, in fact, one of the reasons, and this has been hotly debated and will continue to be debated, I'm sure, is why you don't, you don't remove the tritium. You don't remove the tritium because the levels are so low, it's almost indiscernible. And there is no industrial method to remove the tritium which is so, at a so low, you cannot even look where it is. There are some methods to remove tritium when you have high dosages. Of, of, of tritium, but no, not in this case. Uh, you, ref you said that there is very little, if any, reference to, to the, the, the negative effects. Well, we could have, there are more than 60 radionuclides, the report was not about that, but well, I can tell you something, and I'm sure you can also research. The effects of uh, low doses of tritium, even above, the much above the levels that we are going to be having are, are very minor. It, they could be negative if repeated during a, a long time. There are even reports that doubt that there is any impact on cancer cases because of tritium. We didn't get into uh, all of this because um, if you go into this, like in any scientific report, you go everywhere. <laughs> and you need to be focused and stay focused on what, what you do. I think the report adequately addresses the issue that this, which is uh, uh, with uh, carbon-14, um, the only radionuclide that is not removed, uh, is at a dose that is negligible. Negligible in English means you don't need to worry about it at all. So I hope this clarifies a bit, little bit your question. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice I'm Min Ji Kim from South Korea, Chen Rei, Tokyo correspondent. The Korean government just released the result of inspection of the Fukushima Daiji. Nuclear power plant treated water, and the IAEA also released the final report that meets international safety standards. But there is still a safety concerns. Yeah. And what kind of effort should follow to soften the public concerns? And and are you visiting Korea? So what do you want to plan? In? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for your question. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy to be visiting uh, Seoul again. I was there in December when I had the opportunity to meet with President Yoon and Foreign Minister and the uh, nuclear uh, authorities uh, of uh, your country. And I will do the same uh, now. And, and one of the reasons I am doing that is because what you said in, in your question, what, what are you planning to do? Recognizing that uh, in the Republic of Korea, uh, because of the vicinity with, with Japan, there is, um, there is a concern. Uh, I, uh, I have been very attentive to the, Korean, to the South Koreans' uh, views and, and, and concerns, and I accepted their invitation to come again, to engage, uh, as I am doing here, with the press, with the public, with parliamentarians, I have an invitation to address some parliamentarians that have a very um, a strong opposition to the plan, so I can, um, again, um, do what I'm doing here, try to explain and illuminate the, the, the difficult points so they can understand uh, better. So this is also part of the, the efforts from the IEA and myself to engage um, and, and to explain. So I'm really looking forward to visiting your country again. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I, I actually appreciate some of the levity on some of these very uh, sort of hard and uh, heavy topics. Um, I just had one question. 
Um, it's regarding uh, transboundary releases, and I was wondering if uh, this should be considered a, a transboundary release that would be subject to relevant guidelines and, and require notification and consultation under, like, the Convention on Nuclear Safety and the IAEA International Basic mm -hmm. Safety Standards. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is James Sims, and I'm with Forbes. Thank you very much. I was going to ask you. <laughs> uh, well, uh, the uh, transboundariness, if the word exists in English, the transboundary nature uh, must be addressed. Our opinion is that given the uh, degree, the dilution degree and the dispersion, uh, the, it could be the case that there is no transboundary effect at all. Uh, the, the tests and, and reviews that we are going to have might uh, indeed confirm that, but uh, given the extremely low levels of the radioisotopes, the radionuclides, sorry, that I mentioned, um, uh, the dispersion might be uh, almost uh, complete or indiscernible within a few miles from the coast. So perhaps no transboundary effect. Potentially there is one, so this is why these countries want to have the guarantee of what we are doing here, and there is not going to be uh, any. But uh, this is our assessment. Um, yeah. So what, what you're saying is that if everything goes according to plan, then it's not a transboundary release. Almost. It's, you know, the word negligible is negligible. It's something that you can, you must, you, you could even not be even able to measure hmm. or indistinguishable from what is already in nature. So that's okay. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you very much. So, there are other questions. So, there are other questions. Next, I'll take the other one. Ah, NHK の吉田と申しますえっと2点あるんですけれどもまず1点がですねあの報告書のまとめの議論に関してですあの今日、えー、何社かのインタビューを受けられていると思うんですけれどもその中であの報告書の議論で、まあ、あるケースについては関連した専門家の中から意見の表明があったというケースの報告もありましたけれどもこれはその。報告書をまとめる議論の中でのケースのことなのか、それとつまりその報告書の内容全体に関しては、各国から参加しているその十一カ国から参加している専門家の中で、大きなその見解の相違というのはないのかどうか、そのあたり確認できればと思います。Yes, I, I think one, one thing is important because it, it has been mentioned by, by some、uh, that all the voices. I mean, this is an IAEA report. Right. The, it's an IAEA report under my responsibility um, and uh, with, with a number of、uh, conclusions that are there and assessments that, 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 that are there.、Uh, mm, it was composed by a group of scientific experts with international advisors,、uh, which may or may not have individual opinions.、Uh, I don't know, but the, 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 the assessment is, is one and is the one that you have in that. In that report,、uh, I don't think there is much more that I could say. And it's not a report that you vote on. It's not a report by consensus.、Uh, when it comes to international safety standards and measurement of the presence of a radionuclide, this is black or white. It is there or it's not there. It's not that you vote or you say, I think that it's there. It is completely objective, I would say. So, in this regard, I'm, I'm entirely confident of the process and the conclusions. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. And if there is someone that is not, you should say it. But in any case, again, this is、uh, the report of the IEA. I fully stand by it, and everything that it is in it is in full conformity with international standards. I don't know what expert A, B, or C may have to say in the future. I, frankly, I don't know. I haven't heard from anybody saying I don't know where this is coming from. But、um, what I can tell you is that the, the, the conclusions are solid and are、uh, 
adequate. Yeah. じゃあ一点短く今回のです、ね、あの報告書で述べておりますあの処理水の処分ということがこの福島第一原発の廃炉全体に対してです、ね、あのどのように、えー、と影響というかです、ね、寄与していってほしいかそういったところは家,家としての立場があればお願いします。It was a huge pending issue. Already in 2018, before I became, I, become, I became Director General, the IEA had strongly urged、uh, TEPCO to come up with a solution because you cannot continue to accumulate. First of all, there's, a matter, there's an issue of physical space where all these tanks were accumulating and it was becoming more. Unstable and、uh, I would even say dangerous to keep all this water there without an adequate、uh, treatment than to take a, a decision to move forward in one way or the other. So、um, I think it was an indispensable prerequisite for the total decommissioning. Without this aspect being dealt with, decommissioning would not be complete. はい、ありがとうございましたさあそれでじゃあじゃあじゃあそこでの女性の方はいお願いしますあ、Thank you I'm reporter Shinzua of NBC Korea If you have a fixed schedule in Korea please let me know in detail Do you have any plans to meet the Korean opposition party, which is voicing opposition、mm-hmm. to the discharge, or meet, meet with Korean fishermen or anyone. And it is, right to, it is right to have a press conference in Korea on Sunday. And what would you say if you met people who oppose opp- the discharge in Korea and emphasize just one word, what is it? Thank you very much. As I was saying to your colleague, Uh, I am、uh, happy to go to Korea. So, every opportunity, including meeting with your colleagues over there, will be welcome.、Uh, there is a program which is being put together. I intend to see, of course,、uh, government officials, and I have received a request from the opposition party to meet, and I will do so happily. I think I should meet with everybody、uh, that has,、um, of course,、uh, relevant interlocutors that have、uh, views on this. And this is why、uh, I want to be there. I would say、um, it's difficult, you know, on your last, the last、uh, part of your question, if you have to say one, one word,、um, it would be difficult. I would simply say that,、uh, you know, a word that I like is trust. I think one has to trust the scientific work of the IAEA.、Uh, we are neutral, we do not take sides, we look at the science, we look at the problem, and we have an assessment. And then we can. We can discuss. And this is what I intend to do as of this evening when I arrive in Seoul. Thank you. 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 Uh, nuclear power plant.、Um, obviously, you made a d d r e s s on Wednesday to say that、uh, over this allegation, over this、uh, piece of intelligence, that、uh, uh, explosive may or may not be at present、yes. at this facility. And that at that point, you said you're trying to gain access to the、uh, rooftops of reactor number three, number four, turbine holes, and parts of the cooling systems.、Uh, have, you had, have you been able to make any progress uh, on that, uh, on that uh, uh, issue? And also, Um, would you tell us why you specifically named、uh, reactor number three, number four,、uh, and et cetera, other places? Do you have any reasons、yes. to believe that there could be explosive or,、uh, uh, yeah. activities、uh, around that area? Yeah, thank you. There, sorry, the last.、Uh, is there any contingency plan that you may have、uh, to address should something go wrong, should something unexpected happen、uh, in that region? Do you have any plans、uh, for that?、Thank、you mean in, in Ukraine?、Yes. In, in Ukraine, yeah. Ah, yes, 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 of course. Well,、uh, regarding your, your first question, I think it's very timely because you remember I was here on the 4th 
and there were some warnings that on the 5th there would be some tragic events uh, unfolding. Um, nothing happened on the 5th, which doesn't mean that things could happen. I don't want to sound uh, appeasing in this, in this regard. I'm very concerned, and we continue to be very concerned. Um, uh, regarding the access, I think we are making progress. Um, from uh, Tuesday to today, we have been able to get more accesses, not yet to the rooftops, but uh, I, we have uh, um, filed the request uh, to the authorities to go uh, there. I'm pretty confident we will get this uh, authorization, but we have been able to complete some of the tours of the cooling ponds and other places. And uh, as seen in my updates, we have not seen any uh, indication of explosives or mines in these places. We still want to go to the to the other, but this uh, sometimes it takes it takes time. Uh, you we have to understand, and I tried to say to say it already the other day. This is a combat zone. It is an active war zone. So uh, sometimes it may take a day or two to get the authorizations. People, of course, the Russian forces which are in in control of that Ukrainian facility, but they are in control. Uh, so we have to check and get the necessary authorizations. But we are constantly uh, seeking those and trying to be as um, inquisitive and objectively um, you know, focused on what we need to see. Contingency plans, well, we, we, we do, uh, depending on what you mean. There are so many issues. Um, First, there is the issue of uh, the, uh, the physical integrity. And on physical integrity, this is the attacks on, on, on the plant. Then there is the issue of the water, for example. And uh, I have been addressing this issue after the destruction of the Novakakovka uh, uh, dam last month. Mm. Uh, so there, we, we, we do have contingency plans. We have been shared sharing those with the management of the plant. We have been comparing notes uh, uh, on, on that. So for every contingency, to use the word, to every alternate possibility, I would say, uh, we do have a clear assessment of what uh, emergency preparedness and response mechanisms should be in place, should something uh, occur. はい、ありがとうございました。えっと、え、グロシさんはあの、一人一人と握手をしたと聞いています。その握手を通じて何を伝えたかったのか教えてください。Well, by shaking hands courtesy. Um, and by talking to them uh, that they know me and that they know that they can talk to me anytime if they have any uh, they are, of course, the mayors. It's very important, and you know, in a democracy, the mayor is the first elected authority that uh, gets the immediate needs of their population. So this is, for me, this is so important to talk to the mayors. Uh, then we go to the pol high political levels, and the conversation is different, of course. But with the mayors, is the immediate things. Uh, so uh, they give you the heartbeat of the people. So this is why I wanted to, to, to get to know them and, and for them to get to know me. So a lot of respect for them and availability. So they know me, now they know me. Uh, they know my phone number. They know that they can call me anytime and I will be visiting again. Well, I, there are no two Fukushimas in the world. Uh, but yes, I, I, I like when, when there is an activity, let me put it like this, when there is an activity of the IEA where the local population is involved, it may be less attractive, for example, to mention it, but when I go to Africa and I go to places where they are 
trying to get some nuclear medicine, some radiotherapy. I go to the hospitals. I go to the people as I, I, I should do. I mean, meeting, meeting the people is the, first, uh, is the first thing. In Saporizia, for example, I try to see people. Uh, I try to see the local uh, inhabitants of uh, Energodar, the village uh, near the plant. I try to talk to the staff. It's a bit difficult because there's a lot of political control and sometimes it is difficult, but um, it is worth trying. And I think, uh, you know, uh, uh, I sh leaders of international organizations should not be in an ivory tower. They should be available to the people. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Can, can we take two more questions? Yes, yes. Yeah, then we okay. have to go yeah. over a couple uh, of questions. I see the gentleman is very eager, okay. so maybe you can... All of you, and then, it, then we... Is it all right to... to yes, to yes, yes, and then okay. let's try to make it... Make it short. Impossible. Hi. NHK no Dega to Moshans. My question is about Iran's security problem. One year ago, あの、well, this will require a, a, a whole afternoon, but uh, let me say uh, the situation is difficult. JCPOA efforts uh, are, have stalled at the moment, so there is not much ongoing there. The cooperation with Iran continues, but not at the level that I would like it to be. I have told this to my Iranian counterparts. We have a number of pending issues uh, uh, there. We have, um, I visited Iran in March. I uh, uh, agreed on a joint statement and some activities that we needed to do. And the implementation of this agreement has been extremely slow. So I'm trying to speed things uh, up in order to avoid a regain of tension in that part of the world. え、まあ、え、日本記者クラブにお越しいただいて、またこのようにえ、ディスカッションができればと思います。それではグロス事務局長どうもありがとうございました。Thank you very much. Thank you. あ、そしてですね、あの皆さんあの事務局長が退出されるまで席について